So now we're preparing a tax return on Taxtron Web for a single parent with a dependent and a T4 income and rent. So once you log in into the software and you click new return, you will be at identification. So we put tag file single with dependent. We're preparing Angela's tax return, last name Louise, date of birth, SIN number, a marital status is separated. Um, so hasn't moved so all that information mailing address same as all you have seen before um, so no foreign property Canadian citizen on the voting list other information you can select no meaning it does not apply or you can leave it empty which by default is no if we wanted to autofill Angela's tax return which we are not and then under dependent now uh, we're gonna say yes we do have a dependent so once I click next um, it will pro ask us dependent information so once you click next it will ask dependent information so our case it's Hudson Louise 2015 relationship to you so you can select son daughter parents grandparents if they're financially dependent on you um, your dependents income which is very important for the benefits and non-refundable credits and is Hudson your eligible dependent so some information if you're not sure you can click on this question mark it will provide you detailed information of what eligible dependent is what disability credit is so we have selected yes because a single mother she's taking care of um, Hudson was born in 2015 and since a Hudson is healthy we're saying no to disability if a disability is approved by CRA, T201 is there, so you can select yes. Otherwise, it's automatically answered as no. So once we go next, we will see the dependent summary. If the Angela has additional children, we can add additional dependent for Angela. So in our example, it's only one. When I go next, now it's asking, did you pay childcare expenses for Hudson so we can select yes if the taxpayer paid childcare or no so in our example Angela did pay childcare as she's working full-time she needed somebody to take care of Hudson so she paid to KRT kitties for Hudson an amount of three thousand six hundred sixty fifty six cents and if you have additional childcare receipt, you can add a childcare or remove childcare. And then we go next. So that's it for the dependent information. Now we're under income profile. So we're saying yes, Angela worked. Angela has a T4 slip. No other tax information for Angela. Then we put the T4 information, which she works for Cashman and Rockfield, province of Ontario. So that um, all the boxes are as per T4, um, income, CPP, EI, income tax deducted, and all additional boxes at the bottom, 57, 58, 59, 60, which is for um, CERB payment uh, period, and then box 85, which is for medical and healthcare. So this will automatically go as a non-refundable credit same thing if somebody has donation and union or professional deal on the t4 it automatically will go as a non-refundable credit or as a deduction and if you have pension it will automatically go as a deduction so all the information on the t4 we have inputted as provided we go in the summary so we can see angela's income and the only income angela has is from employment once we're under deduction, so we can see if she has contributed to RSP, she has work-related donation or other medical expenses spent out of pocket. So as we go through all the deductions, we get to climate action, which is automatically yes. So once we go under climate action, we are saying that no, Angela does not live outside the metropolitan area. And also she's getting a climate action incentive for one child who is Hudson Louise. And then we get a summary of all our deductions. So childcare, 
um, CPP spouse eligible amount, um, EI premiums which are from T4. So basically this is a summary of all the non-refundable credits, deductions and refundable credits just like we saw for the income, we saw a summary of all income. So under deduction, we see a summary of all deductions, non-refundable credits. Then we get to the provincial. So the provincial is the Ontario Trillium Benefit. So are you applying for property and Ontario Energy Tax Credit, which is rent and property tax? So we put in rent 11880 It's paid to the first, the forest woods, 12 months. And then we see a tax summary of Angela, so income, net income, taxable income, and she's getting a significant refund. Um, GST, federal child tax benefit, no provincial because income is too high, and a little bit of entire trillion benefit for rent, which was an amount of 11880 um, We can also see a summary here if I included it. So income, we see the child care expenses as a deduction. So that reduced her income. And then we see non-refundable credit for her, for eligible dependent. Um, so we can see net federal taxes, net provincial taxes, total tax payable is 4820. She paid 7,900 on the T4, climate action incentive for carbon tax, which is 300 for an individual plus 150 for eligible dependents. So that's 450 provincial tax credits that she's um, qualifying for. So a refund of 5469 so once we go under review and file we can see that congratulations all the steps were filled out all the steps were provided we can download a copy for our records in PDF format and we can electronically file the tax return